Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be driving this brand new Mark 8 Volkswagen Golf R around the Snetterton circuit. Big thanks to W2R for inviting me down to another one of their track days and a big shout out to Adrian Flux Car Insurance who insure my BMW M2 competition for the road and insure me on the track. They're insuring this 45 grand Golf R out there today to make sure that the car and myself are safe. So make sure you check out W2R and Adrian Flux in the description below. Today, I really wanna talk about driving modes and what this car is like out on the circuit if you leave all of the traction control systems switched on and if you turn them all off. Although these systems are there for your safety, I believe that they sometimes actually make the car a bit more dangerous when you're spirited driving or if you're out on track pushing the car to your limits because the car's trying to do one thing and the systems are trying to do another and you're anticipating something else. So you're all kind of fighting against each other. Some systems work pretty well. Rear wheel drive cars like BMW systems and stuff Although they induce a little bit of understeer, they're reasonably safe out on track and they do just limit you. But I think the systems that are inside this Haldex all-wheel drive Golf R really do make it a little bit unpredictable when you push it hard. This new Golf R has the familiar EA 888 two-litre four-cylinder turbocharged engine. In this guise, it's now 320 horsepower 420 newton meters of torque. It weighs about 1550 kilos. It has a seven speed DSG gearbox, all wheel drive system, as we've talked about. It's actually running Potenza S005 tires, which are actually meant to be pretty good in dry performance conditions. So hopefully they should hold out pretty well today. Right, let's jump inside, put my helmet on, and take it out on track. Okay, here we go. All of the traction control and stability aids are switched on. And we're about to start our lap at Snetterton. The traction control light is already flashing out the last corner there. So I've already lost a load of speed down the start finish straight. Obviously here it's not affected, it's not breaking traction. That's about three miles an hour down on what I'm normally at. Come through here, foot on the floor, I'm not getting any power. It's just shifted down as well, which is frustrating. Okay, and now foot on the floor, nothing, it's shifting down, it doesn't know what it's doing. The gearbox is all over the place. Really, really frustrating. <laughs> Guys, you've got to turn your traction control off in your Golf R because it doesn't work otherwise. So that's 110 miles an hour, hard onto the brakes. Get the nose in and our foot on the floor. There's nothing, 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 nothing. No power at all there. Now we're getting full power. Really bad. Again, pick the throttle up and there's nothing there, nothing. <laughs> Just the yellow light is flashing away. We'll try third through there. Just hopefully it won't hold me back too much. I can just see the traction light flashing away. Just because this is an all-wheel drive car doesn't mean it's going to find traction everywhere. And unfortunately, when the traction control is fully on, which it is at the moment, the car is constantly trying to stop any slip always going to get a bit of slip when you push a car out on track. Again, third through here. Normally I'd be second. Nothing, nothing. It's just flashing away. There's nothing there. Really frustrating. Oh, I can feel the systems playing around with the rear diff and the brakes just not allowing me to go any quicker. Oh, you get understeer, no power, really frustrating. But we'll finish this lap so we know a rough time when we get home and over the line. Okay, I'm now gonna do a cool down lap and then turn everything off. 
and hopefully discover that with everything off it's a hell of a lot better. Okay, here we go. All the systems are off now. Let's see <laughs> if it's any quicker. I know it's going to be a lot nicer to drive. thinking it was going to back some of the systems off went out for a drive and instantly I could see the traction control light flashing and I could feel there was absolutely no power so you've got to turn all that off you've just got to because otherwise you're just losing the benefits of this amazing chassis the all-wheel drive system everything you're just losing the whole lot because the traction control systems are fighting you and they're fighting the car and you're fighting them and you're just everyone's like this <laughs> whereas when you switch everything off it's just you and the car in harmony effectively and you just get the results you just get a much more enjoyable drive obviously it's somewhat different in something like my m2 competition where you definitely need a lot more talent when you switch everything off in that because obviously it's rear wheel drive 400 odd horsepower and if you're aggressive with everything off in that, well, it can all go horribly wrong very quickly. And also, to be fair, the BMW traction control system like MDM is actually really good because it allows a bit of slip. You can feel it holding things back, but it allows a bit of slip and it allows you to have a bit of fun. Whereas the systems in this or most four wheel drive, hot hatches, even sports cars, they're really nannying aids and they just constantly trying to slow you down it is like having your nanny or your granddad next to you telling you to slow down constantly it feels like there's a brick under the accelerator it really does out of slower corners there's just nothing and it's massively frustrating on a lovely dry track day anyway i hope that <laughs> this has been quite a graphic demonstration of why you should experiment with your traction control systems 
on a circuit like this if you own a Golf R or similar because uh, it really does add a lot of enjoyment to your time out on track. Massive thanks once again to W2R Track Days for allowing me to take the Golf R out here this afternoon and huge thanks to Adrian Flux Insurance for keeping me safe. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and I will see you hopefully very soon. Cheers.